These, sir, always remind me of a, a, a chronicle of a man being eaten by ants. Uh, it's, uh, it's like the snail crawling across the straight razor. I think the reason a lot of musicians like him is because he's a very musical writer. And, and there's something that happens in the, um, with all the goop and the gristle and the thistle that it that stays in the picture and it stays in the pot and it stays in the in the piece. This is kind of a rant in the form of a prayer. Um, you know, the little Monterey fishing boat glides downward home 15 miles to go. Be home to fried fish and beer. Beehive guides the sea, its bird roots, silver laws forever outward from blue sky of human bridges. To the massive mock cloud sea center heat to the gray, some boys call it gunboat blue. Or gray, but I call it the civil war of rocks. It's interesting that he closed with it because it really was, it was like his song of the experience, but the writing was a very different piece of business. Well, sometimes when I read them, I get sad and I think, oh, man, you know? Because nowadays, you know, we, we would just give you some uh, uh, Ritalin or something, straighten your ass right out. <laughs> uh, send you to AA, Jack, you, you'll be fine, man. You'll never write another word, but uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> Magic place. The fog up on those big bluffs. Ocean's magic over there. It's like you're tripping, you know, when you're there. That's the way I feel. Culture is so present at all times, and it's so um, loud. You really do have to unplug it, or unplug yourself from it, uh, if you are going to hear yourself think or hear, hear yourself breathe. So, <clears throat> sure, I do that all the time. It's very romantic to do so, but it's also very challenging. I think he was going through a lot of the struggle of what happens when you're quiet, what comes up, what comes up, what comes up, you know. They start bubbling up. And, uh, so he was a walking contradiction, and like all of us. He said one thing and did another. A lot of the time, Jack seemed tortured and, uh, by every single last thought that came into his mind, they had to speak it and had to write it. And um, so you kind of agonize along with him. He sees he's being blown apart in every direction. That's the pearl for, uh, that comes from the irritation, I guess. Uh, I think it's human to try and turn something that was deeply painful into some kind of a, either a cautionary tale for someone else or to purge yourself of, of its, uh, of the demons that are, that are in you. Making my home more home-like somehow. On soft spring nights, I'll stand in the yard under the stars. Something good will come out of all things yet, and it will be golden and eternal, just like that. There's no need to say another word. <laughs>